Hey guys, Izzy and MJ from Endless RVing. And now with 2021 upon us, this video is gonna talk about what our outlook is for 2021 and RV years. So Izzy and I just returned recently from the 2021 Tampa RV Super Show. We had a blast. Mm -hmm. Really hard to come home, especially with being like 20 degrees today. And snow coming. Yeah, and snow. <laughs> but we were kind of surprised at a lot of things that we saw there and it reminded us and kind of took us back to a video which we will link up above that was titled is now the worst time to buy an rv which kind of hit the airwaves and got us a lot of hate and a lot of love but it needed to be said there was a lot of truth to it and we saw some things at the tampa rv show that we do want to address that we see in the world of rving moving through the year what we think is going to happen we're going to talk about the good and the bad all right so the first good thing that we've seen is there are a lot of new rvers now some people would say well isn't that bad but there's a lot of good to it a it grows the community so there's more awesome people to meet and we met so many people mm -hmm. in tampa and we want to thank each and every one of you that stopped us and said hello it was so great to meet you all it really really was to put faces to names of comments and things like that also it's going to help grow the industry even more, right? What's bad about having a booming industry? I mean, people with jobs, right? Absolutely. It helps our channel. Well, that, more yeah. More people watch, yeah. there's more <laughs> viewers out there, right? But uh, there's also gonna be, uh, like MJ said, increased demand. So what does that lead to? That's gonna help increase demand from the customers, right? So mm -hmm. if the customer base is starting to look for more features such as internet coming standard or maybe upgraded batteries or whatever there's a variety of different features that we're seeing more and more trickling down into rvs that two years ago we didn't really see but now they're almost becoming like a standard like solar prep is a standard now right even though we talked about a video about solar we'll mm -hmm. link it above but as more people get into rving the rv industry will be forced to listen to the demands of the customer so the next thing is there are a ton ton of great new models out there. So we were so excited at the RV show by what we were seeing in terms of innovation and use of space and things like that. We have a couple examples and we've actually done videos. We did a video on the Fleetwood Discovery 36 HQ. We're gonna link that above. This was a phenomenal coach. So innovative, brand new idea, you know, kitchen island in the middle, but with a dining table that pulls out and turns. It's safe, a space safe Mm -hmm. table little things like that they're just you're just starting to see a lot more of also use of space in the terra oasis was another one that we saw and we did a full tour of very cool trailer very very cool and if we were going to get a trailer it's definitely something that we will look at but we've seen a lot of different things this was one of the best i think that used the space in such mm -hmm. a way that it packed so much into a smaller space it was phenomenal and not only the use of space which we really saw in the fleetwood discovery line i mean like mj talked about that 36 hq it was 36 feet i was not convinced it no. was 36 feet it you looked so much bigger ours yeah. is almost 37 feet it looks so much bigger than ours just of how they used the space mm -hmm. even when we went to their 44 footer the thing looked like it was 55 feet inside so motorhomes traditionally have the same layout no right, matter what right. you get they're changing it up so this is good the trend is things are starting to look more residential and a lot of that is because the RVer is becoming younger the RVer is more full-timers there's younger people getting in there and they're demanding more therefore the manufacturers are listening to that and these new motorhomes I mean just from when we got ours yeah. they look like homes inside they're absolutely gorgeous and we are very excited and I'm sure the RV community is very excited to see that Another really cool thing that we're seeing is just an improvement in technology. The internet connection is coming more and more standard on a lot of these RVs. Also including, you know, touchpad uh, controls, mm -hmm. stuff that you can control from your, your smartphone, just innovative things. Tankless water heaters, we're seeing more and more yes. of those coming standard, yeah. you know, Trumas and whatever else. Hydronic uh, heating system, even mm -hmm. on some trailers that's becoming standard. So as the years go by, you're gonna see the battery technology continue to improve, becoming more standard, solar technology, mm -hmm. All things like this is just leading to a better, well, 
definition of better. Some people may hate it, the traditional right, people, right. but for us, and I think for a lot of new RVers, it's becoming uh, much more pleasurable to RV. All right, so now we're to the part where you get to hate us, right? We always have to play devil's advocate and we always have to give both sides. We're gonna talk about some of the things that we saw at the show and that we're seeing that we're not too crazy about. So number one is lower inventory at the show. Now, we were in Florida for quite a while. We went to Lazy Days. We saw all different RV dealerships. Many of them are packed with RVs. Okay. Unlike New Jersey. Right. Oh, it was such a treat. But <laughs> being at the Tampa RV Super Show, there was a marked difference from last year in the amount of RVs that were there. Last year, you literally could barely walk in between some of the RVs, right. right? And this year, there were there were wide open spaces. Yeah, at the Renegade section, they didn't have that many there. There was huge space. You don't see that tradition in RV right. shows. Like MJ Not said, this one. it's columns, bumper to bumper. It wasn't like that. There was significantly less RVs. And and I we think that's because they just didn't have the inventory to bring that many RVs to the show. Yeah, we don't know. That's our guess. But there was a definite difference. So the second thing we saw, and this was pretty much across the board this year versus last year, was higher prices. Not only higher MSRP prices, although those weren't too much higher, but just higher sale prices, right? Mm -hmm. The discounts were, there were some good discounts, Yep. but there were significantly higher prices. And I'm gonna give you a couple examples and some dealerships are not gonna like this, but it's the truth, all right? So uh, we saw a last year uh, Discovery LXE, the 44H or B, very similar. Mm -hmm. MSRP last year, 2020 is around 458. The show price last year, I remember it distinctly because it was plastered everywhere, $299. Same unit this year, MSRP virtually the same within like $1,000, $325. dollars $25,000 difference on sale price of this year versus last year. Now, that's not to say that that's the price you're gonna pay, but when you crank it up, $25,000, and we're told by reps of the factory that certain RVs are being sold before they even get to the dealerships, like you can't even get them. Our opinion is you're not gonna get the discount like you would get in 2018 when we bought ours or beginning of 2020 when, when the pandemic hit. You're just gonna be paying more. That's just how it is. The Terra Oasis, there was a $1,000 discount. I mean, that's that's almost insulting really. Yeah. A $1,000 discount off of MSRP. And how long were they sold out for? Till 2022. The units were sold out through 2022. So if you wanted that RV, that Terra Oasis, which was awesome, put the order in, you get it in 2022 with a $1,000 discount. Now, it's it's right. certainly not to the advantage of the consumer at that point. Now there are good discounts to be had. Many people got them, I'm sure. You can always reach out to our good buddy, Matt of Matt's RV Reviews. He'll get you the best price mm -hmm. in America. So. Uh, you can get good deals, we're not saying that. But overall, there was a big difference this year in the markdowns than last year. Yeah, and a lot of units, like we just said, were sold out. I know we had spoke to certain people about some Renegade Super Cs. Apparently, they're sold out through, through the year. They're sold out through 2021. So you think you're gonna get a big discount? Probably not, because if the demand is really high and the supply is that low, that's that's just capitalism, right? You, you're gonna wind up paying more. So that's something that we don't really like that we've been seeing that's happening in 2021. All right, some other things that we were hearing at the show, not sure if they're going on outside the show, but if I were a betting woman, they, they may be. We had a subscriber who was very interested in a certain motor home. He was buying it. Yeah, like He's ready was. to buy. Yeah. yeah, and he was not able to test drive unless he committed to purchasing it. Now to me, that's <laughs> ludicrous because I'm not gonna buy a house without seeing it, right? I'm not gonna buy a house without getting inspected, things like that. So and this motorhome was more than cheap. most houses. Yeah, so that is just bad practice in our opinion. If you're expecting somebody to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for something, they need to test drive it first before committing to it. Yeah, and if you're gonna take that stance like, oh no, basically we have somebody waiting, that is not no. a good environment to be buying a any kind of RV. That That's just our opinion. Right. Please, in yeah. the comments below, let us know what you think. If we're going to buy a motorhome at that price and they're like, yes, yeah, sorry, you can't test drive it, walk away, which yeah. is actually what he did and, and that's yes. a good thing. Yes. Wait, wait it out a bit, just our opinion. Yep. All right, another thing, and this is what we had mentioned in our previous video, as well is that we are already seeing campgrounds, state parks and things sold out. We actually just called for a trip that we're gonna be taking in the spring to a state park. Full hookups yeah. are already booked up. 
it's January, so it's happening. So again, this is something that you need to be thinking about as an RVer. If you are making plans, you're gonna have to just do things now way further in advance than we used to do them. Because there's so many more RVers right, out there. Right. Again, a limited amount of space, more demand, prices can go up. And now talking about that, we'll talk about some private campgrounds. And we saw this in 20, and we have no reason to believe that it's not gonna change, if not for the worse in 21, is increased cost on private campgrounds. We have seen a, a significant increased cost both on the straight up cost, but then like the hidden fees. So now they're charging. If you have a kid, they charge, which they never did. If you have an extra car, they charge. Just, just, just getting you here and there, little fees to make more money. We understand that COVID hit. People got to make money, right. but... Yeah. A lot of this, you know, is is the situation is allowing to charge that because if, if people are waiting, well, you could charge what you want, right? Right, right. So people will pay for it. Just keep that in mind. Uh, we haven't seen that in 21 because we, ha we haven't booked out any private campgrounds, but we saw it in 20 and we don't anticipate a difference for 21. So what does this mean for the RV world? The RV industry is doing great. They're making a lot of money and, you know, I guess good for them as long as they're not swindling people and, and being honest honest about it. Um, those of them that are making their money honestly, good for them. Those of them that are taking advantage, not too thrilled about that. And we, and like we said, we did see a little bit of that happening at the RV show. But remember, whatever goes up is going to come down. So that's where we're going to kind of talk about a little bit more. 2021, we anticipate, and listen, this is just our opinion. We anticipate it's going to be another, for the most part, really good year for the RV industry. We think that the vaccine now, it's being distributed and it, it will probably be pretty well uh, available throughout the U.S., you know, through mid-year. Once that comes about and people are able to travel more, I think you're going to see some stuff stabilizing maybe going into 22. Yeah, I think this year is definitely going to remain because there's so many restrictions everywhere still. And, and at this point, it's, it's almost February. By now, people are already booking their summer right. plans. People aren't sure this summer, are they gonna have the vaccine? Are, are mm -hmm. our borders gonna be open? They, they don't know that. So yes, I think this year is gonna remain somewhat the same. And then moving into 2022, it'll be really interesting to see. Mm -hmm. I think things will lighten up a little bit, but who knows? I mean, we don't know. That's, we don't. that's the beauty of it. We don't know, uh, but like we said, what, once the borders start opening, people start traveling, our feeling is that you may see some inventory starting to increase, less people, with because the, there's so many people buying now, so there may right. be less people getting into RVing because they can actually travel now, mm -hmm. and then it might be a better time to buy. Again, if you find a great deal, go for it. But yes. if you are buying an RV just to buy it, just be aware that you're going to be paying top dollar now. If you're, if you're cool with that, then that's fine. Go for it. So in the comments below, let us know what you think. What does 2021 have to bring for A, the RV industry and the RV consumer? Put it in the comments below. And for you, what do you have in store? Mm -hmm. And for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see, see you, you on, on the road. road.